for you guys. So yesterday I got the Lorac Pro 2 palette and I was really excited about this palette because it was quite a bit different from the original Lorac Pro palette. Um, as you can see, the original is more warm and it's more neutral. And then the Lorac Pro 2 is more of a cool palette and it's got a little bit more color. It was the Lorac Pro palette. The top row is all matte. And then the bottom row is all shimmers. So I'll go ahead and get started on the swatches. So the first shadow we have here is Buff. Light Brown. Cool Gray. Nectar. Plum, Navy, Charcoal, and Black. <clears throat> so, of course, this is the top row with the matte shades. Row, we have snow, beige, rose, mocha, chrome, silver, jade, and cocoa. I actually did a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing. I'll go ahead and get into the tutorial right now. Alright, so for this look, I'm going to be priming my eyes using the primer that came with the Lorac Pro 2 palette. And that is the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. going to be taking buff and I'm just going to apply that to my brow bone area. I just want to blend that down towards the crease. On a fluffy brush, I'm going to be taking light brown and putting that into my crease as my transition color. Next, I'm going to be taking beige, and that's just going to go on my inner corners of my eye. And next, I'll be taking rose, and I'll put that on the center of my lid. Just blend that in with beige. On my outer corners, I'm just going to apply cool gray.
brush, just blend cool gray in with rose. Finally, just to add a little bit more depth, I'm going to add a little bit of black on my outer corners. Again, with a clean brush, you're just going to blend the black in with the cool gray. Blending this slightly up towards my crease, but not too much. So to finish off this look, I just applied some winged liner, a nude liner into my waterline, and some mascara. 